Hey everyone, this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com and we've got the Hummingbird 360 imaging amazing mount for you guys that want to have a mount that you can flip your Hummingbird 360 imaging pole up out of the water side beside your boat, you can put it off the transom, you can put it off the bow of your boat, whatever you like. We've got it here. We've been making these mounts for our live scope, live sonar, that's like the Hummingbird uh, Mega Live that's coming out and the Lorance Active Target. We've been making these kinds of mounts for those. But we've had quite a few customers ask for a mount for their Hummingbird 360 imaging transducer. That is the transducer that's conical in uh, shape and it is infused or stuck on right on their own pole. Now that pole is 1.26 uh, inches in diameter. And so we've just basically taken one of our live sonar mounts and we've made one for your 360 imaging transducer right here. Now, of course, we don't have, uh, as you can see in this video, you're gonna see in this video, we don't actually have a Hummingbird uh, 360 imaging transducer. We've worked with some of our customers that have it, and we have created this product here for their, to their specifications. It's been flawless, it's been fantastic. It's an amazing mount, so you'll be slipping your Hummingbird Mega Imaging mega imaging transducer through this hole, the pole, and then of course tightening it down. So like I said, your pole diameter for your 360 imaging transducer is 1.26 inches. We'll just take the calipers here and I'll show you. It's 1.23, 1.13, but of course, here I'll show this again here for the camera. So there's 1.4, but this, this, this um, slit here, it's obviously bendable, right? So as you tighten this T-knob, it'll clamp down your pole and boom, you'll have a great mount. And this is so cool because if you have this on the side of your boat, as you can see right down here, you can take this guy and you can pull this spring pin here, index pin, and you can lock it in sideways. Either way, in fact, by the way, and I haven't shown this in the other videos, but we even had it on the bottom now. You can even go upside down for some reason if you wanted to go upside down. So this is Wade from fishfindermouse.com. We've got an amazing Hummingbird 360 imaging pole mount. By the way, guys, if you are going to be going with the Hummingbird Mega Live uh, product that's coming out soon, check on our website, fishfindermouse.com. That's www.fishfindermouse with an S.com. Call us 1-855-784-3474. It's on the backdrop here, toll free. Um, I'll also include at the beginning of the video and the end of the video that information. And make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you go down to the bottom left of your screen there, I guess left would be here if you're looking at this video, and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button. Every time we come with new awesome products like this, um, you're going to get a video so you know what fishfindermounts.com is up to and what they've got for you in your fishing adventures. I'm just going to show you this tensioner knob here. What's going on is you can see it's kind of a bit sloppy here out the gate, but all you need to do is take your tensioner knob and lock it in, just wind it in, and now this cannot move whatsoever. You can see I can't move it at all. So if the camera's really close, you can see that I am not being able to move this whatsoever. It's rock solid. You can also, guys, as I was showing you, you can rotate it, but you can also tilt it up out of the water, just like this, at different detents even. Maybe you have a boat that's, you know, maybe your, your, your boat's listing or you, you have an angle to your boat or something. You want to offset it by a few degrees. We've got the different degree detents in this mount here. So you can tilt it right up out of the water, 90 degrees here. The other thing I wanted to show you guys here, oh, so how that's done with this is you just loosen off this tri knob here, okay? And then you're gonna have this, this is loosened, so you just pull the pin, this pin here, you can see right here, and it just changes it to different detents, just like so. So that's how that works, and this guy here, once you've got it to the detent that you want it to be at, you just take the tri knob here, and you just tighten it up and now it's locked in. You can't move it whatsoever. You can't actually even turn, like rotate it anymore. You have to actually loosen the tri knob off to get it to rotate again. So we'll do that and then you can see again, it's really nice and smooth guys, super smooth. And we've got this working with our live sonar mounts and the rotation and stuff like that. 
on our live rot our rotational like live sonar mounts is fantastic. You wouldn't need to do that with the 360 because it's also it's scanning around your boat all the time, as you guys know. If you have that product, uh, the next thing I want to show you is we've got a little screw pack it'll come with. So you can screw this down to a deck, your front deck, uh, your back deck, if you have a back deck, or your gunwale edge. Some boats, a lot of boats nowadays have tracks integrated right into them. So you might want to have a track adapter. By the way, we're going to be very soon coming out with our own track adapters for all sorts of boats, your Lunds, your Lumicrafts. Um, we're even going to have adapters that work with aftermarket guys as well. Um, pontoon rail mounts, we just did a video on that as well, but this is the little, the little kit of screws that come with this mount. You can get your own obviously, but I wanted to draw your attention if you guys are kayakers, or I don't know if kayakers are putting the 360 imaging hummingbird onto their kayaks, but even if you don't have a kayak and you want to, um, let's say, put, you can get kayak tracks and you can put them actually on the gunwale edge of your boat. Uh, or a deck or whatever and this allows you to move the mount up around your boat if you have a bunch of those tracks You can mount them down to decks gunwale edges and then the next thing is this is the distance on the actual track bolts for kayak tracks So you can see it's roughly 3.6. Let's call it center to center something like that And the way that the track bolts work is you would take these and I was showing this earlier I'll just show it one more time on the track Try to keep my hands out of the way for the camera right here. All right, just have it like loose so you can see there's some clearance here, right guys? So you just take this guy and you'll see how they engage with the track. This track would obviously be screwed down to your deck. You can see that it pivots, rotates around, and then you drop them both into this track. We sell these tracks, by the way, guys, on fishfindermounts.com under accessories or kayaks mount section, these tracks here. These are actually really great tracks. They're plastic, but they work really well. Um, you got a lot of mounting holes here. They're very solid. So you can just lock this guy right down into the track. And of course, if the track is screwed to your deck, like I say, if you get a bunch of these guys, we had a guy that put eight of these on his boat, a customer just recently, we just loved them. So you put that down on a gunwale edge, a deck, something like that. These, these holes here are for mounting to a deck or whatnot. You know, these are self-tapping. You can use these guys with your wing nuts. They're quarter 20 machine screws. Your wing nut can go through there, you know, so it clamps it down onto the substrate or the floor or material that you want to put it on. I also wanted to show the hole dimensions and the footprint of our, what we I like to call it our footing plate, but our base plate for our index blocks for our pull and beam mount kits. Um, so if we take these calipers, I'll show you guys right now, the footing is 2.75, so two and three quarters guys, and I believe this is four inches, I'm quite certain, yeah, you can see four inches there. And then the whole dimensions here, by the way, center to center, I think is roughly 3.15, somewhere in there, if you just kind of take the calipers, and there you go, that's about the center there. And then this is 1.25, I believe. So there, that's your whole pattern if you want to use sort of the direct deck mount type method like I was showing earlier or later in this video. By the way, I should also mention too, this beam, this is what we call our beam, okay? I'll just take, take the linch pin out, the safety linch pin right here. Take that guy out. I'll take off the tensioner knob here, get it out of our way. And what we're gonna do is we'll slide this guy out. This beam here, we have five and 10 inch variants or, or uh, models or whatever you want to call it. So this is, we have one five inch, this is the five inch here. It's actually longer than five inches. I think you get about six inches of reach. We call it our five inch. And you can see it is about six and a half inches here end to end, about six and a half, pretty much almost exact. Um, we have a 10 inch, which is actually really more like 11 inches. So if you're inside of a deck, like you're inside where your gunwale edge is and uh, or you like inside away from the gunwale edge, you want to get it because you have a deck that you can mount onto. You don't want to do it on the gunwale edge of your boat. Um, you can obviously screw this guy down into there and then the 10 inch would give you uh, enough clearance or enough length to get to, to move this. If you take this guy, right, and let's say it's cinched right in here, you can take this guy obviously and just 
click it out. So the 10 inch would go much longer is what I'm saying here. The other thing I should mention too is we have riser blocks. So if you're in, the deck is sunken below the gunwale edge or brim of your boat, we have two inch riser blocks. It's also on our live sonar mounts page. So if you're looking for those, look on our live sonar mounts page. I don't have it on the transducer mounts page. The live sonar mounts page, there's the two inch riser block you'd be looking for. They're solid aluminum blocks and they would go between your footing plate and this index uh, or, or receiver block and you can just build them up. They're solid aluminum, thick, really strong and you can just build them up. I keep adding two inches and as much as you need and you can get it up and then ultimately once it's up high enough, of course, you can get it over your deck and ready to go. The next thing I want to show you here is you can take this, if your transducer is right, you know, you've got your Hummingbird 360 transducer here. You can take this whole thing right off your boat. You leave this, leave this installed on your boat. Um, just, I gotta wind this guy off a little bit more. Uh, oh yeah, that's the thing. This linch pin is sort of a safety thing, so you guys or keep keep in mind what you're doing, and you don't just you know drop things in the water. It's sort of a little just don't forget type of uh, feature that we have in there. So you just pull your little uh, your set screw or your uh, spring pin index pin, I like to call it. You pull that guy, it slides right out of your receiver block that's maybe screwed down to a deck wherever it may be. Just pull it right out, and uh, you can take take your your 360 imaging transducer with you of course you can fold it up to the 360 imaging pole by just you know popping this 90 degrees and this would be in line with your 360 imaging pole so it's nice and portable so yeah there you go everything is machined hard anodized aluminum super solid super tough and rugged designed to last a long long time with reasonable care guys um, even this can take a beating too it's, it's tough tough stuff so this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com. Again, don't forget to visit our website, www.fishfindermounts.com. This product, by the way, guys, is at our shop. If you click on shop at the top left corner, that would be the side if you're looking at this video, I think. Shop, and then you would uh, look for transducer mounts category. The transducer mounts category, the Hummingbird 360 Mega Imaging Mount from fishfindermounts.com is at that link, at that category, you'll find it there. I'll put the link, the purchase link down here below for you guys to have a look at it in the whole bit. Just amazing, solid, fantastic, super adjustable product. Once again, from the innovators of fishfindermounts.com, we are making all fish finders portable. Thanks for watching everyone.